So now in this video, we're going to look at a simple way to take a battery and make it a backup power supply. So I have this battery connected to this snap and comes here. These wires, they could short circuit if I hit something uh, conductive. So I got to be very careful that it doesn't come into contact with anything conductive. I'll move it out of the way right now. So first we're going to look at our setup here. So we have 8.4 volts at the power supply powering this load here. So the reason why I'm using 8.4 volts, this says 9 volts on it, but it's actually not really a 9 volt battery. It's just a replacement for an alkaline 9 volt battery. It actually charges up to 8.4 volts. When you put it on its charger, that's all that it can charge to. So this is lithium ion, and if you're aware of lithium ion batteries, you know that one cell is can be charged up to 4.2 volts under most uh, circumstances 4.2 volts so this puts two of them in series their voltages add up so it has a chemistry of two uh, lithium ion batteries of 4.2 volts they're in series so their voltages uh, double at the output there since they're in series and so 8.4 is the maximum so I'm just gonna set the uh, maximum voltage there you need to use well you should use uh, protection circuitry to make sure the battery never charges above whatever it charges. In this case, the main thing is the power supply will limit the uh, current. So right now, the other side of the power supply, you can see we got the plugs there. They come to these alligator clips, which goes to the jumpers to power the rail. If I hit the power button, this did not turn the unit off. I hit the power button, the output goes off. So I'll turn it back on right there. So. I can just uh, push that button and the uh, whole unit will stay on but power will be cut to the output. In fact, let's do that right now while we do our wiring. So we come here and we saw the other end of the battery we have these posts and so we are going to put it in the board there so the, the black wire comes here the negative side of the battery to that lower post. We're going to put that in the same row as that jumper right there. And now, commonly, you'll have with the uh, backup battery, power supply, probably most of the time, a diode. So normally you would use a rectifier diode. We could just put this right from the post to the positive rail. They don't light up though. You can't tell when there's current flowing through them based on looking at them. But you can with an LED. So we're going to take the LED. And I tested this out just using the LED. Unfortunately, things went wrong with that so we're gonna give a protective resistor to to the positive rail so now you can see that LED lights up and that LED lights up when I get a connection so the battery is actually lighting up two series LEDs which also have two series protective resistors so we probably got quite a bit less than half of the uh, current going through if we just powered the LED and one protective resistor. So let's zoom back. You can see that power supply is off. Now we're going to turn this power supply on. You can see that LED went out and that one got brighter. So a lot more voltage now is hitting that LED because the power supply is on. That LED is off. So it's preventing current going from the power supply to the battery. And earlier when I didn't have the protective resistor and I tried this that LED burnt out so unfortunately it gave a surge of current or something to the other LED something went wrong where the LED burnt out so that's why I have the protective resistor to uh, prevent that from happening again a rectifier diode would probably have uh, absorbed whatever the power was and you could probably put it directly there but again you can't see it light up so in any case there you can see power supplies off the backup battery is powering our load and an LED that we have to indicate that the battery is working right now. And right now, the battery is not doing anything. It is not discharging. So as I said before, this claims to be a 9 volt battery on the packaging, but you gotta be aware that it's really only an 8.4 volt battery. And so it has its own charger. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have the charger here and so it's pretty straightforward you just plug this into an outlet 
and you plug the battery into there you have a bright blue light that gets dimmer as the battery gets more charged it's really straightforward and if you measure the voltage when it's done you'll get 8.4 volts and right now we'll go across the uh, LED and that jumper you can see we got 8 volts right there and so it is not actually a 9 battery I don't like that they write 9 on there but uh, still it's a uh, it's useful it's uh, rechargeable a bunch of times and you can just I got a bunch of these battery snaps and these uh, breadboard I don't know what uh, you call them but uh, terminals and I can just plug them in right there and so if I ever need a backup supply this comes in pretty handy you probably don't want to discharge this down to more than six volts because two series lithium-ion batteries that's about where you want to discharge them down to six volts you don't really want to go below that you definitely don't want to go below five volts with two of them in series you want to keep each battery above 2.5 volts for sure and ideally above three volts so with the two of them in series you'd want to keep this above six volts so if you ever use lithium ion batteries make sure you learn all the uh, rules for them it's uh, the abuse of them that mostly causes the fires and stuff so so be careful but in case make sure we turn the meter off we should unplug the battery to uh, reduce the chance of short circuits keep it out of the way and uh, turn the power supply off and unplug it should unplug uh, everything when you're done but uh, that's it hopefully you enjoyed the video I'll try to make a better version of this video in the future I kind of quickly threw this together but hopefully it still made sense and uh, thanks for watching